Hey guys, how's it going? Steve here. Truth Bomb. That is my channel. Alright, so you guys heard me talk about in like past video of um, how the Deep State and the Illuminati runs everything pretty much. Our governments have no power. Pretty much no international leader has any say in fucking anything. I've been saying that. People think I'm fucking nuts, but it's true. It's the truth. It's where common sense leads. So people ask, Steve, what about these like dictatorships that keep falling you know like they clearly have control well one any dictatorship that is still standing has no control because any dictatorship that tr tries to get real control like you know saddam hussein or Gaddafi, they get toppled look, look what happened to saddam when he actually tried to take legitimate control of his country fucking the iraq war happened they fucking hung him what happened when Gaddafi tried to take control they fucking killed him and people are gonna be like but steve Steve, buddy, what are you talking about? Remember when they had nukes and they agreed to give them up? Hey, here's, here's a fun fact here. Libya never had nukes. They never gave them up. It's all propaganda. It's all lies. I'm going to brainwash us. That's it. That's all it is. What happened is he was a figurehead just like everybody else. And then, when he didn't fall in line, they concocted a story to cover up their deeds. And then they killed them. That's all it goes to us. That's all it is. And then you got Kim Jong-un. And Assad right now. Actually, more, way more Kim Jong-un Kim, Kim Jong than Assad, by the way. But um, right now, he's starting to push the boundaries a little bit. Being like, I'm actually going to rule my fucking country. My people are starving. They're oppressed. They're the, um, they're the Illuminati's bitches, pretty much, right now. And he's starting to understand that if he doesn't take control, just, this country's never going to be parable. It's never going to make a comeback. So what he's doing, he's taking steps so that he can help his people. So that he can regain control over his country. It happened in Korea in the Korean War. A lot of people don't want to deny it. So they're like, no, Steve. That's, that's simply just the Cold War. It's a cell war between the USSR and the United States. No, the Cold War wasn't, didn't exist. It wasn't a real conflict. It wasn't even a real rivalry. Because the USA and the USSR are both just pawns. That is it. They serve the Illuminati and the Dark Council. They aren't separate entities. They just want you to think that they were separate entities. These wars were really to basically convert countries that had independent leadership. Vietnam wanted independent leadership. Do they anymore? No. Korea wanted independent re leadership. Do they anymore? No. Like, seriously, think about it. Afghanistan, they wanted independent leadership. Do they anymore? Absolutely not. They keep trying to regain it. But they're not successful. That's why U.S. troops are still there. They're there to do the bidding of the, the higher power up there. You know what I mean? Ugh. But anyway, earlier, what happened with Assad was basically Assad wanted to, like, you know, was maybe pro thinking of the idea of perhaps standing up to these people. And then when um those higher-ups ordered Trump to shoot the missiles, that was just like a warning, being like, hey, Assad, stick in line, because you know what happens when you don't. You're going to end up like Gaddafi. You're going to end up like Saddam. You're going to end up dead. That's what's going to happen. So after that, clearly, he got back in line because, like, nothing else happened. But I, well, here's my opinion. So it's going to happen in North Korea. And what's maybe going to happen to Iran. I didn't bring up Iran earlier. Sorry, I forgot. I'm a human. Whoopsie. But basically what, hap what happens is these two countries, their leadership is starting to get sick of serving these people. And they're going to try to instate their, instate their independence. And when that happens, I guarantee you, the good old USSA and the UN and NATO and any other country that's useful at the time, the, the Dark Council, there, he went to topple them and kill them. King Jong Un, if he makes a wrong step, he's dead. His administration's dead. Anyone who questions the higher ups dies. Sounds bad, but it's true. And that's how you know that these anti establishment types aren't really anti-establishment. They're just there to continue the fake divide. Democrats, Republicans, they both work for the same fucking people, dude. Those third party, the Green Party, Libertarians, they're just there to fill their role too. You think Bernie Sanders is anti-establishment? No. He works for them too. Rand Paul, same bullshit. If they're in office and they're still kicking, then they're aware of what's happening. They work for somebody else. They don't work for you. They're just there to play their role. They're just there to think that they're the ones 
who are going to be the opposition to the big corrupt government. In reality, they're just no another cog in the machine there to trick us. Don't fall for it, peeps. This is Truth Bomb, and this is me, Steve, signing out.